Welcome back to Blackjack. Now, where were we? Where I want you. Of course, yes. There we go. This is roughly where we were. A whole thing where she turns grayscale. I have popcorn. This is where we were when she was right next to the potted plant. Okay, so her crown is still all colorful. This is where we were. Sorry to soil your fun. Well, that was odd. Told ya! Dear Princess Celestia, Today I learned that the only thing more powerful than friendship is a giant bird spirit colliding into me at Mark 36. This was a tricky one. Both Raven and Twilight possess numerous spells and techniques that could end hmm. the other quickly and easily. Since they were pretty Instant even in how many techniques. ways they could finish each other off, this fight really came down to strength, durability, and performance. First of all, it's pretty obvious Raven's telekinesis has been shown to be much stronger than Twilight's. Mm -hmm. But Wiz, what about when Twilight moved the sun and moon? That's when she had the magic of Princess Celestia and Luna. And it's well established oh, okay. that only their specific type of magic can move those celestial bodies. I actually so forgotten you're about you that. you want us to move the sun and the moon? Well, I do it myself, except I don't have your magic. With her own magic, Twilight has never shown anything close to the kind of force Raven used to lift the Teen Titans Tower. Raven had the durability advantage, too. Remember how Twilight's shield held up against the hit a little over 8 million Newtons? Well, Raven's soul self is tougher than she Donna Troy, defend, who can shrug off a blast worth 296 trillion Newtons. That's a uh, 16 more zeros, in case you're wondering. <laughs> and don't forget Twilight had the power of four alicorns at that time. The shield wouldn't have saved her from Raven's soul self anyway. Not only could it absorb Twilight's powers and emotions, and not only was it capable hmm. of operating while yeah. Raven was unconscious, but it also made a mean dive bomber. Raven's soul self could fly at speeds exceeding Mach 36. Since it's often been used as a battering ram to hit enemies, we know it has mass, but not exactly how much. However, given its size, strength, and durability far exceeds Raven's own, its mass is likely greater than hers. Well, yeah. Just lowball it and say they're equal, all right? Sure. Adding Raven's mass to the Mach 36 calculation, the soul self's ramming thin, force then. at top speed comes to 15 million newtons of force, far greater than what Twilight's shield has sustained. Ain't All no right. pony walking away from that. Plus, Twilight's positive attitude meant Raven didn't I have to even worry about pain when using this. her emotions against her. While they may have matched each other in spells and skill, Raven's more powerful traits and exceptional soul self earned her a hard-fought victory. Yep, Raven Ra Okay. I do not understand the thing with the potted plant. What the hell? They ponied up for this one. The winner is Raven. Okay. Thanks for Good on you, Raven. You commentary on this episode. Just click that when they gave the descriptions, it was kind of and obvious. If you want the battle music for yourself, you can click the link in the description below and get it off iTunes. See you the next one. Okay, come on. Give me someone good. That's going to be interesting. Is that going to be our CG episode? Okay, well, I, I don't really have much to say about this battle. Most of what I would say would be that it's... It was a foregone conclusion, really. I mean, once they got into their feats... I forgot about the moon thing, but... It's also in space. I don't know, even if I had remembered the moon thing, um, Raven just seemed stronger and faster and more durable and a bit more cunning. I mean, 
Twilight may have more raw intelligence, but that doesn't mean she's um, combat ready thinking. Okay, my computer is at an angle to me right now. This is facing straight ahead of me. I don't know why the camera does that. Pardon. I don't know, I, and I did not understand that ending at all. Raven takes Twilight's power, which turns her gray, and then she turns into a potted plant. Okay, well, last week, well, last time, I got cut off while I was about to talk about a completely different battle that I want to see. Everyone wants to see Ranma Sautome in a battle, but they can't think of who a suitable foe for him would be. So I'm thinking another teenager, another prodigy who can learn techniques incredibly quickly, and someone else with a very specifically achieved final technique. Because the problem with Ranma is that his cat fist can only be achieved if he's around cats. Because he goes into a massive trauma state because how he learned it was his father had tied him with fish sausages and threw him into a pit of hungry cats. On the very next page of the training manual, it had said that only a complete idiot would attempt to learn it, so... Yeah. <laughs> so, and it, it happened more than once, too. So Ranma developed a phobia of cats to the point where he essentially mentally becomes a cat. I mean, I know Hiryo Shotenha is a stronger attack, but it's just basically a regular key attack. Which um, the person I came up with has dealt with several times. Um, and that would be Sakura Kasagano from Street Fighter. She's, I think she's a suitable opponent because she has some, I don't, I don't think it's nearly as ridiculously specific as Ranma's cat fist, but she can channel the dark Hado and that's not an everyday occurrence for her. So you get Cat Fist Ranma versus Dark Sakura, and I think that would be a very, very cool battle. I think she would probably win. Although, there is something very weird. Ranma has a very odd weakness, and that's that it stated that his female form is weaker, including in ki. Not just in physical strength, but his ki is weaker. And does Ron ever go cat fist while in female form? I, I don't remember. Huh. Who knows? I, and that's like 36 volumes of manga that I would have to go through. Um, goodness golly. Tell me if you've ever even seen Ronma one half. I mean, the series is like, you can tell it's old. Not just from the animation, but from the writing and characters and stuff.